The Sleep Experiment is an excellent horror film that dives deep into the psychological damage caused by a top-secret government experiment. Based on Creepypasta's The Russian Sleep Experiment, writer, director John Farrelly delivers his first feature film that exposes the horrors of what humanity is capable of when pushed to the brink. The film begins with a slow burn, however, as time passes on and the test subjects begin to hallucinate, the plot transitions into the psychological thriller realm before escalating into full physical horror in the final act. The sleep experiment has some pretty decent twists and turns along the way, some more obvious than others, but overall has a very solid story with a great performance from the entire cast. Point two detectives David, Anthony Murphy, and Robert, Barry John Kinsella, begin an investigation on the ethics involved in the top-secret research facility, Porton Down. One experiment stands out to them as the most horrific, the sleep experiment, a scientific experiment that took place during the Cold War. The experiment consisted of five prisoners, deemed enemies of the state, being locked in a sealed gas chamber. An airborne stimulant was continually administered to keep the subjects awake for 30 consecutive days. The prisoners were promised that they would be set free and erase their prison sentences if they successfully complete the experiment in the film's opening scene, a vehicle is driving through the night on May 16, 1961, and arrives at a secret facility. Armed guards wearing protective gear wait outside the building as five hooded men are escorted down a dark staircase into an underground bunker. The five men are all prisoners held on national security charges, Luke, Will Murphy, Patrick, Sam McGovern, Edward, Rob James Capel, Sean, Brian Moore, and Eric, Stephen Jess. Fifteen years in the future, the two detectives are interviewing Christopher, Tom Kerisk, about his involvement with the experiment. As the experiment officially begins, the five prisoners begin to become better acquainted with each other. They each introduce themselves and reveal their backstories as well as why they were originally sent to prison before participating in the experiment. The prisoners were all charged and convicted with either murder or attempted murder. The men are hopeful that they will successfully complete the experiment so that they can be released from prison and return home to their families. Back in 1976, the two detectives believe that Christopher was the person who designed the sleep experiment for the military.